Hey students, good morning. I hope you will be doing well. Today our topic of discussion is verb. Basically that what is verb? In English language there are different types of elements. The, these elements basically make your language perfect. So one the one of element from the language is verb. So first of all, what is verb? Basically a verb, a word which shows an action or state of being. So what does it mean action? Action means that in which there is the involvement of your body, the involvement of your move, uh, any movement of your body. For example, Alex is walking in the ground. It is an action verb. How it is action verb? Because there is the movement of my legs. So that's why it's an action verb. Boris has a very nice car. It, Boris has a very nice car. In this, there is no kind of movement. Why? Let, let's, let's suppose, for example, I am talking and you people are listening. So talking and listening both are verb. But talking is a, an action verb and listening is an state of being. So for how? When I am talking, in talking there is the involvement, there is the movement of my lips, there is the movement of my tongue, there is the movement of my whole facials, facial parts. But in the listening, there is no kind of movement. In the world listening, for example, you are sitting like, like, like this, you are sitting, you are right now sitting but you are just hearing with your ears. There is no movement of your body parts. So that's why talking is an action verb, listening is a state of being. And now coming towards the next, that what are the forms of verbs? There are five forms of verbs. For example, present, past, past participle, continuous or present participle and infinitive. For example, let's, let's suppose, take an example. Go, went, gone, going and to go. And finish, finished, finished, finishing to finish. Here the word go, the verb go is a present, present form of verb. Went is a past form of verb. Gone is a past participle. Going is a present participle or continuous. Infinitive is a to go. So here the one thing is important that what is infinitive? Infinitive means that when a verb is preceded by the word to, it means that it is a infinitive verb. So that's why we call to go is a infinitive verb. Going, that first form of verb plus ing. When you, when you put ing with the first form of verb, it then it becomes a present participle. So third form of verb, we call it past participle. And second form of verb, which only used in past indefinite tense, it is called past. And present, present means that the verb which show the current situation. So that's what we call present uh, form of verb. Next is finish, finished, finished, finishing and to finish. And as I have told you that to, a verb which is preceded by the word to, that would be a infinitive verb. Just like to go and to finish. But it is a form, it is a finish, finished, finished. When any verb is become past participle or past continuous then it, if it becomes by adding the word d or ed it is a formal and if it goes in other part pattern for example go went gone then it becomes present uh, it becomes informal form of verb but here are two types of another verb Transitive verb and intransitive verb. Transitive verb which require an object. 
that's what we call transitive verb and intransitive verb means the a verb which don't require an object so that's what we call intransitive verb matthew kills the khizr matthew kills boris because it needs the object but he smiles it is a complete sentence so thank you so much i hope you have, you have understand the lecture and if you have any question or query you may ask thank you so much